Hi there everybody and Happy New Year! We've taken a month off here at Beer Hence Will TJ to recharge our batteries and have technical difficulties. But now we're back to ring in the new year with some new videos. And this is a very special year, as this is the year that the world ends, according to people who think that's what the end of the Mayan calendar means. This of course is ridiculous. It'd be like people from the future looking at our calendars and thinking that the world ends every 365 days on December 31st, because that's when our calendar ends. It's just that the Mayans divided their calendar into ages instead of simply years. That doesn't make them prophetic, that just makes them far-sighted. That's like saying 2000 would be the end of the world simply because it was a round number. I mean, at least the Y2K bug was a scientific basis of thought, even if it did get way overblown. Speaking of which, let's talk about the age of Pisces. When I told you about Triskaidekaphobia, I also mentioned the foundation of astrology by the Zoroastrians of ancient Persia. They believed in order versus chaos, that the world we live in is a world of order that came from chaos and shall return to chaos and the intervening time will be made up of 12 ages, each one ruled over by one of the constellations, from Leo to Virgo. The age of Pisces is, arguably, the age that we are currently in, and the start of this age was around either the time of the birth of Jesus or the foundation of Christianity, therefore making this age to be the Christian age, and that is one of the reasons why Christian symbolism is associated with fish. So, despite the fact that this is only the sixth of twelve ages that the Earth is to go through, there is a belief among some people that the end of the age of Pisces into the age of Aquarius will be the end of days, as it's the end of the age of Jesus and thus be time for the second coming. There is some dispute among scholars about exactly when the age of Pisces ends, some saying that it already has recently, while others going as far ahead as the 27th century. But there's another reason to think that the Christian age is coming to an end. You see, according to the prophecy of the Pope, the 268th Pope will be Peter II, and shall be on the papal seat when the papacy falls with Rome. Whether that means the rest of the world will fall as well isn't part of the prophecy. Either way, Benedict XVI, our current pope, is number 267. That means we only have one more pope to go. However, the prophecy of the pope is not an officially sanctioned prophecy. You see, it's attributed to Saint Malachi from the mid-12th century. However, it wasn't found until 1595, and it was found by a supporter of someone currently running for pope who was suspiciously similar to the next one described. That guy didn't end up winning the palpal seat, by the way, as the prophecy also worked for another fellow up for the job. The prophecy has continued to be more or less true, though some of them have been real stretches. Such as the one for John Paul I, out of the midst of the moon, because his short palpal reign started on the night of the half moon, or John Paul II's from the labor of the sun, and he was born under a solar eclipse. While it could still be true, it's pretty vague. So if Benedict XVI dies nine days before December 21st, then we may have a problem. This reminds me of the big reveal at the end of the X-Files and how much it annoys me. Okay, I guess I should Snape alert this one. In the series finale of the X-Files, Mulder returns after being gone for over a season and is now forlorn and dejected about his previous beliefs. Why? Because he has learned that part of the deal that his father and his fraternity made with the aliens will allow them to come back to take over the world on that date, December 21st, 2012, the end of the current Ba'akhtun. And he's all depressed about this. 
he's given up his lifelong crusade just because there's now a set date when the aliens will come back. So what? Hell, that just means he now has four years to do something. Up until now, he's been fighting a present and active threat, including spending the greater part of the last year abducted, including his friend and partner getting impregnated by a half-breed alien, and including his sister getting kidnapped in front of him as a child. I'm sorry, that was a bit off topic, though I guess it's still about 2012. But Christians should not think that the world is ending in 2012. You see, Sir Isaac Newton was not just a physicist and a mathematician. In fact, he was primarily an alchemist and a numerologist. He was also a devout member of the Church of England. Using his mathematical skill, he worked out the numerology of the Bible and worked out that the world could end no sooner than 2060. So, according to the Bible, we still have at least another 50 years. So live long, be merry, and hopefully I'll be here next year to laugh about how the world still exists. To all of us who weren't raptured up anyway.